What in the world? How's it going today everyone? Creek Crawler here. I am in the middle of nowhere. Central Ohio area-ish. Found a creek on Google Maps. We're going to be exploring it today. Um, that's basically our plans. Our go-to is to explore this little creek behind me. We'll give it a shot today. If we can't find no deep holes, can't get into any fish, we'll transfer over to the Scioto River, go upstream of Scioto River, downstream, try to find some deep holes for some smallmouth, saw guy, whatever wants to bite today, but it's an adventure. Never been in this creek. Stay tuned for the action. Let's go see if we can't catch some fish. Let's go. All right, let's do a quick gear check before we get started. I brought my 610 medium fast action spinning gear. This is one of my creek setups. I got my 2500 die well on there. Got 10 pound power pro and today i'll be throwing i'll be throwing a bunch of stuff but we got but what i have tied on right now a little helgramite this is the nico helgramite the obsidian just a straight black color a nice natural presentation in this clear in this clear stream so hopefully we can get into some smallmouth today maybe some even spotted bass or largemouth too we're going to take a walk through this tunnel right here that goes under the road See if there's any fish on the other side. It's pretty shallow through here. I can walk. Looks pretty awesome, don't it? Probably should be casting under here. Looks deep enough for a fish to be holding. Alright, I'm walking under this tunnel here. I'm trying to stay quiet because it echoes really loud. But it looks like there's some deeper water up ahead. But it's not too deep for my boots. All right, I kind of got a little wet, but it might be worth it. Let's give it a shot. Oh, hooked up. It's like a nice little spotted bass. Heck yeah. Come here, buddy. Check that out. Beautiful spotted bass. Alrighty guys, can't beat that the first cast. Nice little 10 inch spotted bass. There you go, buddy. Heck yeah. That's awesome. Alrighty, so far so good. First cast resulted in a spotted bass. I'll take it. Let's see how deep it is out there. Pretty deep. Ooh, we had one come up for it. Right off the ledge here. Hooked up. Oh, no. Missed him. Got it that time. Beautiful spotted bass, man. Oh. Look at that. There's some chunkers. Wow. Look how stout. Look at that belly. <laughs> That's awesome. The Helgramite's crushing it. There you go, buddy. Alrighty, I'm going to show you how I rig up my uh, Helgramites here. This is a Z-Man uh, Bullet Finesse. I just go through the head about a quarter inch or so. Throw it up over that keeper there. So now you got your Helgramite on there just like that. And you can go ahead and just do what we listen. There's a couple segments here on the Helgramite. So I go one, two and a half. Like right in between the second and the third joint seems to be the perfect spot right there to make this weedless and then I go ahead and pull some plastic over make it weedless just like that so you got a nice um, weedless presentation there you can toss in the rocks and the trees and stuff so that's how I rig my Helger mites and so far it's doing pretty good with these spotted bass down here all right Try this again. Hooked up. Nice. 
Nice spot, nice spot. Nice spotted bass. It's a chunky guy. Look at the bellies on these <laughs> little spotted bass. Man, that guy's probably almost a pound to be honest with you. Right there on the Helgramite, man, they are crushing it. These guys are specialists in eating crawdads, macroinvertebrates and stuff. They just, they love crawdads, they love Helgramites. They love all those little bugs and stuff that crawling around the rocks. There you go, bub. So far, casting in the shade, kind of bringing the Helgramite back to me is getting hit pretty good. Seems like they're hiding under the trees. Ooh, I think I had one as soon as it hit the water. Man, these fish are crazy today. Hooked up. This one feels nice. This feels really nice. Come on, buddy. Get up here. Oh, no. 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 What a bummer. Hooked up. Feels like a decent one too. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, this is a pig spot. Let's go! Let's go! Look at this spotted bass. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That's like my PB spotted bass. We're gonna have to go measure him. Wow. Absolutely wow. Fourteen incher. That's my PB, guys. My PB spot bass. Spotted bass. Close your mouth, buddy. This is what exploring can do for you guys. Look at that spotted bass, man. That thing probably weighs easy, easy, a pound and a quarter. And you guys might think that's funny, but spotted bass don't get too big here in Ohio. Look at that chunk, man. My PB spotted bass. 14 incher. There you go, buddy. What a fight, man. Alrighty, I'm gonna put my other camera underwater here so you guys can actually see what these bass are seeing today with the obsidian Helgramite. I'll be throwing the other one today too, probably, but I just want to get some underwater footage for you guys to enjoy and watch. So I'll put this camera underwater. Let's take a look at this Helgramite. All right, so that's a little sample of what you see underwater. So when this Helgramite is on the bullet, Z, finesse, little hook right here, see all this weight? It prevents this bait from doing what it can really do with a regular net head, which stands up just like this on the bottom. It'll dance like this across the bottom if you have a regular net head, but since it's got all this weight here on the back, I'm a little bit heavy for this little creek right here. I could probably downsize, but it was on my rod and I mean, I'm slaying them on it today, so. But it kind of gives goes at an angle on the bottom like that. Kind of scoots along at an angle, which is still good because this fish come up behind it and scoop it up and hit that hook. So it's working great today. So it's working great. Like I said, you can put it with a net head and be just as effective. But when I'm pitching cover like this, I like to 
have the weedless option here. Oh my goodness! Come on! That was a big... I just got him to hit it again. Got him that time. That's a big spot. Come here, buddy. I don't know, this might not be the one, but look at that spot. Oh my goodness. These things are chunkers. Camera wet. Right there on the Helgramite, man. They're crushing that thing today. There we go, guys. That's probably, that fish is probably pushing a pound. I'm not lying. Look at that. Look at the belly. These things are eating so good in this little creek, man. That's awesome. Here you go, buddy. Oh, not that way. <laughs> These obsidian Helgramites are absolutely crushing. Another one. Nice, nice, nice. God, these things are so strong, man. Come here, buddy. Oh, come here, bud. Wow. Look how beautiful these fish are. Isn't that spectacular? On the Helgramite right there. Nice little 10 incher, hefty. These things are powerful for how small they are, man. There you go, bud. Oh, we had one come out. We had one come out. We had one come out. Oh, picked it up. Got it. Nice one. Nice one. Come here, buddy. Saw him come out and just scoop it off the bottom. Heck yes. Look at that beautiful fish right there. Man. These are awesome fish. I can't get over it. I've never really caught a lot of spotted bass in one day in my life like this. But they might become one of my favorites for sure they're feisty they're chunky look how chunky that fish is that fish probably weighs close to a pound if not over look how thick he is it's about 12 inches long that's awesome man there you go buddy they're just mean all the time mean <laughs> oh this is such a blast That's something nice. What in the world? What? You guys, <laughs> just caught this. Come here, buddy. On the hell, Grimite. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Let's go! Look at that! Freshwater drum on the hell, Grimite. I think that might be a first. Check that out. Isn't that cool? 19 inches. Almost a fish Ohio. Beautiful. Creek freshwater drum. I don't catch too many of those often. A beautiful fish though. What a fight. There he goes. <laughs> Jeez, man, that was an awesome fight. Alrighty guys, I'm gonna try on another Nico bait that I just got recently. This is called the Flex Tail. It's a UV black blue glitter. It's like a little swim bait with a long little tail on it that I've never thrown it before, but we'll give it a shot down here in the creek and see if we can't catch something on it. I got it paired with a little Berkeley eighth ounce jig head. Looks like a nice little minnow profile right there. Let's see if we can get a hit on this today. Oh, 
got one on the flex tail. Okay, buddy. Look at that. He choked it. I watched him come up and just inhale this bait. Check that out. <laughs> Little plump guy. There you go, buddy. This water's moving pretty good. Hooked up. What in the world? What do we get here, guys? He just thumped it on the bottom. Might be a catfish or something. Feels pretty heavy. Wrapped up in a tree branch. What the heck? Oh my gosh! Huge drum! Huge drum! Come here, baby! Come here! Come on! Let's go! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! That's a fish, Ohio, for sure. Whoo! Just thumped the crap out of that Helgramite. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Freshwater drum. 23 inches. Alrighty, well, Helgramite's crushing the drum today too. Caught a 19 inch in the creek. And this is my fish Ohio for the year. He's uh, 23 inches, probably like maybe five pounds. Man, these fish are awesome. I don't know why everybody hates these things. A lot of people do, not everybody. I shouldn't say that, but what an excellent fighting fish. Let's get a release on him. There he goes. Wow. Alrighty, well, we're going in an adventure right there on that nice 23 inch freshwater drum down in the creek. A little spillway creek combination here. My third fish Ohio species of the year. So we got one more. Then I get Master Angler for 2021. So we're still on the lookout for that. Came short with the spotted bass and holy smokes. Those spotted bass, 14 inch, like I was catching them anywhere from like 10 to 13. The bigger ones were 14 inches, just an inch shy of Fish Ohio. What a bummer, but man, those are definitely my PB weight class for sure. Those spotted bass had the feed bag on, probably getting ready to spawn here soon, but it was just a blast. The Nico Helgramite, uh, the obsidian color, I've never thrown it before. This is my first day ever throwing it and absolutely crushed got a big drum my fish ohio drum on it got pretty much everything on the helgramite today just throwing it and slack eddies down here in this and that freshwater drum picked it up what a fight that was craziness 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 if you enjoyed the action hit the like button down below subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys out in the water let's go yeah.